South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem released a new book. The Guardian got its hands on a copy and the outlet is flagging a section in which she describes killing her dog named Cricket. So the easy way to explain what happened here, if you haven't read it, is to read it out loud to you. So we have the main part of the article and we're just gonna read it, okay? So listen in. All right, so it begins here. Cricket was a wire hair pointer, about 14 months old, she says, adding that the dog, a female, had a aggressive personality and needed to be trained to be used for hunting pheasants. She includes her story about the ill-fated cricket, she says, to illustrate her willingness in politics as well as in South Dakota life to do anything, quote, difficult, messy, and ugly, end quote, if it simply needs to be done. By taking cricket on a pheasant hunt with older dogs, Noam says she hoped to calm the young dog down and begin to teach her how to behave. It's just a puppy. All right, unfortunately, cricket Ruined the hunt, she said, going, quote, out of her mind with excitement, chasing all the birds and having the time of her life. Noam describes calling Cricket, then using an electronic collar to attempt to, to bring her under control. Nothing worked. Then, on the way home after the hunt, as Noam stopped to talk to a local family, Cricket escaped uh, Noam's truck and attacked the family's chickens. So, quote, grabbing one chicken at a time, crunching it to death with one bite, then dropping it to attack another. Cricket, the untrainable dog, Gnome writes, behaved like a, quote, trained assassin. When Gnome finally grabbed Cricket, she says the dog, quote, whipped around to bite me. Then, as the chicken's owner wept, Gnome repeatedly apologized, wrote the, sho wrote the shocked family a check, quote, for the price they asked and help them dispose of the carcasses littering the scene of the crime. Okay, through it all, Noam says Cricket was, quote, the picture of pure joy. I hated that dog, Noam writes, adding that Cricket had proved herself, quote, untrainable, dangerous to anyone she came in contact with, and less than worthless as a hunting dog. So at that moment, Noam says, I realized I had to put her down. Noam, who also represented her state in Congress for eight years, got her gun, then led Cricket to a gravel pit. It was not a pleasant job, she writes, but it had to be done. And after it was over, I realized another unpleasant job needed to be done. Incredibly, Gnome's tale of slaughter is not finished. Her family, she writes, also owned a male goat that was nasty and mean because it had not been castrated. Naturally. Furthermore, as one knows, the goat smelled disgusting, musky, rancid, and loved to chase Gnome's children, knocking them down and ruining their clothes. Gnome decided to kill the unnamed goat the same way she had just killed Cricket the dog. But though she dragged him to a gravel pit, the goat jumped as she shot and therefore survived the wound. <laughs> Gnome says she went back to her truck, retrieved another shell, and hurried back to the gravel pit and put him down. At that point, Gnome writes, she realized the construction crew had watched her kill both animals. The startled worker swiftly got back to work, she writes, only for a school bus to arrive <laughs> and drop off Gnome's children. <laughs> Kennedy looked around confused. Gnome writes of her daughter who asked, hey, uh, where's Cricket? This is not a joke. If you are thinking this is not true, Gnome has now defended the scenes in the statements that she made in her own book saying she loves animals, but tough decisions happen all the time on a farm. In fact, she says they recently put down three horses. I don't know how to bring the panel back after that, but I'm going to do it now. We've got Essie Cup, Van Lathan, Van Jones, Scott Jennings, and our carry champion all standing by. I, I journalistically, I know that I need to sort of say, I, I, you can't kill a dog or a goat like that. It's insane. Well, it's, Your comments? It's not, it's not old yeller, that's for sure. Um, mm. Listen, two things. I hunt over dogs. It's a thing. They don't have to be put down if they're not great at hunting. Right. There are a thousand other things you can do with them before you have to kill it for really no good reason. Um, two, this is a thing that some women politicians do. Uh, you remember Joni Ernst talking about castrating pigs mm. when she was coming into the Senate? Mm. To talk about like rural life, life on the farm, makes them seem a little tough maybe. It's not a thing any of us need as voters. We don't need to hear about it. Uh, save that trauma for your therapist, man. Right.